Hey guys, I'm back to talk about dry shampoo and how you can make it actually work for you. People tell me all the time that dry shampoo doesn't work for them, and when I get some details about how they use it, I figure out why. One of the biggest mistakes people make is that they wait for their hair to get oily, and then they apply dry shampoo. You need to apply dry shampoo before the oil forms, so dry shampoo is actually preventative. The technique I'm about to show you makes it to where I don't have to wash my hair, but about every three or four days. It just depends on how oily my hair's gotten and how grown out. Out, um, my roots are. My hair is color treated. I like being extra blonde. So first let's talk about dry shampoo products. This is probably one of my favorite aerosols. I think the name is Batiste, Batista. It's instant hair refresh. I like the bear because I don't like a lot of scent in my products. This brand also makes brunette colored and I think even auburn colored. So if you have blonde hair, you have a lot more options. Even if there's white residue, it just kind of blends into your hair or in my case, it kind of even lightens up my roots and I'm not against that. But if you have darker hair, you don't want to use a product that's going to leave white residue because it's going to show up in your hair. Another product I like um, is this Not Your Mother's brand. I like a lot of their hair products actually. You can get this at Target. This you can get at Target as well. This one's about six bucks. This one's about five bucks. Again, I went with the unscented because I don't like a lot of scents. This one's pretty good too. Now both of these are aerosol and I think aerosol is okay, but the amount of dry shampoo that I use, I sometimes feel like I have like a cloud of things around me when I use it. So my favorite dry shampoo product to use isn't actually even a dry shampoo it's baby powder this is um, Burt's Bees 100% natural talc free dusting powder and it's Burt's Bees baby now the reason I use talc free is because talc is associated with a lot of um, diseases and illnesses so it's best to avoid talc so find yourself a talc free baby powder and this is going to be your best friend. Again, if you're not a blonde, it's harder to pull this off, but worth trying. So now let me get into the technique. My hair right now was washed and dried this morning. I did already put a little bit of baby powder in it this morning because of course you want to be preventative on the oil forming. So tonight when I go to bed, this is the routine I'll do. I'll start with my part and I'm going to put baby powder all the way down both sides of the part. Then I'm going to take a one inch section, section that off and do more baby powder. And I'm gonna keep doing that all the way down my head. And then when I get to this back part, I'm gonna go all the way down the back of my head because this gets oily pretty quickly. So if you have spots that get oily faster than others, you'll wanna concentrate more product um, at those places. So now I'm gonna do it on the other side. Take, and this isn't an exact science. You just grab some hair, lift it up, put in the baby powder. And you can see that I'm not even careful with it. I have baby powder all over our bathroom, all over our bedroom. It gets all over me, but I just wipe it off with a towel or with my hand and it works okay. Next, I'm gonna go to the back and do the same thing. Just lift up a section, lift up a section. And you can see there's really no rhyme or reason to this. You're just trying to get the product in there. So after I give it a few minutes just to sit there, I'm gonna go in with my hands and I'm just gonna massage all that product in. Sometimes my scalp will have a little bit of residue and you just have to keep blending it into the hair. Next, I'm gonna take a brush and I brush it all through. And that's my routine. Then I would go to bed with my hair like this with all that baby powder in it. The next morning I would wake up and use the baby powder again on my part. And then also I'd probably take a couple sections. I wouldn't do my whole head in the morning, but I do a little bit just again to try to keep preventing that oil from building up. Now, if you do prefer aerosol products, you use these the same way. I would spray this along um, the part and then take those sections and you just keep spraying it on down the hair. So I do have these and I do use them, but over and over I always go back to this. I get it at my local Whole Foods. It's about $6 and worth every penny. Something else I want to mention is you have to train your hair to not be washed every day. When I first started not washing my hair every day, I could get to about day three before it had to be in a ponytail all day because of the oil buildup. You have to get your scalp used to not producing as much oil. So whether you've never used dry shampoo before or whether you use it pretty much every day like I do, try this technique and let me know how it works for you. Whether you use traditional dry shampoo or if you use the baby powder, remember to keep it talc free. But if you've never tried the baby powder and you're a dry shampoo user, I highly recommend it. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you have a product you'd like me to try out or something you want to know about, leave it in the comments. Thanks, guys. Bye.